Hello. I want to uh, define some basic concepts in, in physics. It's um, what is a field, a particular particle, and a wave. Um, a field is something that is has a defined value everywhere in space. What do I mean with that? Well. Think about temperature in a room. So let's say we have a room here. And we could stick a um, we could stick a thermometer inside that room and at every point in this room we could measure the temperature. We could measure it in this corner, or in that corner, or in this corner, or here, or here, or anywhere. Every point in this room has a temperature. And there is no point in the room where there is no temperature, because there is a temperature everywhere. So, with, with a field is we we have a space and in that space we have po positions and to each position we associate a value that's a field every position in the space has a value that value can be zero but it has a value there is a scalar field a scalar is just a number like a temperature or uh, a pressure it's just a pure number and then you have a vector field what is a vector field well a vector field is a field where every position has a vector, vector associated to it. A vector is something with a direction and a magni... Sorry, I can't write it. Magnitude. The magnitude is just a value, and the direction, you could ask a direction to what? The thing is, a vector is an independent object, so it doesn't have an instinct uh, direction, but it has to be compared to another vector. That's what we normally do, we compare it to another vector. So if we extend these directions of these vectors, we get an angle between them. And if we say this is a base vector, where we compare to, that angle there is the direction of the vector. So this is a base direction, and a vector may have a deviation from that base uh, direction. That's what we call uh, the uh, direction. Um, an example of a vector field is wind speed. You can have, uh, in this point here, you can have a very strong wind in that direction. And then in another point, uh, you may have a less strong that goes in another direction. And over here, you can have a very weak wind that goes in this direction. And over here, you can have um, uh, zero vectors. And zero vectors means that this is just a point and a point doesn't have any specific direction which is uh, consistent with the idea that when there is no wind there is no movement of the air so this is a vector field so a vector field can have uh, zeros in um, zero zero values but also a value with a direction uh, associated to it 
So this is a field. Uh, then we have a particle. A uh, particle is an object to which we uh, associate a position and a speed, possible speed. More precisely, the speed also has a uh, direction, and this combined is called velocity. So, speed is a scalar, Sc scalar, because it only has a value, and velocity is a vector. Because it's at a speed and a direction. Um, to determine a speed, you have to do it relative to something. So if this is a particle that stands still, and this is a particle that is said to pass this thing that stands still here, the speed is determined relative to another particle. Think about it uh, like this. Um, assume you have some kind of space here, and then you have a particle in that space. How, how do you know if that particle has moved over here? Well, you may say like, oh, look, I have this coordinate system, and first it was at this coordinate, and then it was at that coordinate. The problem with this is that space doesn't come labeled with coordinates. So whether you mode or not, you, you, you can't tell because space looks every the same in every direction. There is no reference point. So in order to know if you have mode or not, you need a reference point. And that would be another particle. And from that particle, you can uh, define the position over here. And then at another time point, you could compare that relative distance between them to determine if you have moved or not. Okay? Well, what this means is that, that, that particles has kind of an um, independent existence of space. Huh? Just like vectors are independent objects. Those objects, vectors are independent objects, and, and you compare them relative to each other to determine uh, uh, directions and magnitudes. And same with, with particles, you uh, compare them relative to each other to determine a position and a speed. Um, uh, so, anytime you want to introduce a space, you have to have a reference point. And from that reference point, you then determine where things are located, where they are, um, uh, what position they have, and what uh, velocity they possibly have in, in that uh, position, possibly zero uh, velocity. I'm going to do waves in a separate uh, video because waves is like a huge topic and, and I have to cover a lot uh, with waves. So I'm going to come back in the next video and uh, explain the basic concept of waves.